Today I will show the inventory reconciliation module in Dynamics X 2012. In previous version of the software it was uh, necessary to run five or six reports to be able to reconcile uh, inventory to the ledger. It is no longer necessary and all the functions have been consolidated in one area. First I will quickly show the setups and then the reconciliation process. So let's go to the setups under inventory and warehouse management, setup, costing and inventory value reports. In this area we set up the inventory value report parameters in order to build a reconciliation profile that is unique to each company in each situation. In this example, I have two reports created. So let's take a look at the inventory reconciliation report. Um, I need to set up what I want to view in the report. So what is my financial my financial position? In this example, we're only uh, dealing with inventory, but I could enable other financial positions as well, such as WIP deferred COGS, cost of goods sold, and profit and loss. Then I need to tell the system what I want to compare this financial position to. Um, and in this case I will compare my inventory postings to my total inventory account. I also choose to display each item and also a total for each item group. With the other example, I decided to include an additional financial position, in this case WIP, Work in Progress, and consequently I also added an, another GL account to compare it with, in this case my total WIP GL account. Also in my rows section, I can select to include labor, indirect cost, and also direct outsourcing in my Work in Progress section. Note that these reports do not come preset with the system and must be set up for each company. Okay, so now let's let's go and run one of these reports. We'll navigate to reports, inventory value, and again inventory value. We'll choose to run reports report number two, which is the inventory reconciliation report, and enter a date range click OK to run the report. The system shows us a total for each item and item group. Let's go to the, to the last page and scroll down a little bit. We have a total value of inventory here and also we have a ledger section that actually compares the two values. And We have a discrepancy line here in this case minimal discrepancy, just two cents, probably due to rounding. I will now purposefully create a, a discrepancy and run the report again. Let's now run the report again with the, with the same values. And jump to the last page to see our discrepancy. We now have a discrepancy of one hundred dollars and two cents which takes us to the next step in our, in our reconciliation. We can now close this report and run the potential conflicts report. Let's launch the report and we'll use the same value as the, the value used in the inventory reconciliation report, same date range and same GL account. Click OK to run the report. Okay, we can ignore all the, all the lines with zero value and let's jump to last page and go to the bottom of the, of the report. We can see that there's a transaction, it shows a transaction here with a $100 and it says direct posting on this main account representing inventory will cause imbalance. We can actually click on the link here and view the actual entry. And as we can see, there was a journal entry that was entered directly against the inventory account. 
we can now make an adjusting entry to reconcile our inventory. And this concludes this demonstration.